told us that we going to take you out in the country and, and hang you. So they handcuffed me. He was home in prison. But got me. He come on out. Come on out. Oh, ten ten highway. Well, I was scared, and so the tall is about a mile where we didn't carry sitting then went too far from the swimming pool to carry. Mm -hmm. okay. So got my load in, took me, he took me my eyes. Well, they go take me down here in the pool and do me and leave me down here. That's why I affected myself, you know. So, went on down there, went on down there, why? About, about a half a mile. Well, a big old tree, little tree, had a lot of limbs on it. Well, that tree. Got out. My bed had unlocked the trunk of it. Got out a brand new plowline. Put a loop in it. Threw it around my neck. The label that said a tree. See, a tree has a limb. And a thumb. So I like it. I like it. Stove pipe. Throw it right in him up there. Took him to prison. He came and fixed on the ground. Got to injure. Homes in prison. Mm -hmm. He got him back down. And I. He killed him with him. But I couldn't say nothing. But then. About. Two seconds, Jesus come and stepped to the took it over. And took it over. Still being in it. I feel that. They took me down in the woods to kill me. That was the, that was they took me down there for. But things didn't happen that way. So. Thank God for that. Kind of reminds us of the story of the, the three that got thrown in the fiery furnace. And he looked in there and it wasn't three or four in there. Jesus, God was in there too, wasn't he? Yeah. Saving. Yeah. All right. Yeah, a few seconds. Jesus took over. Still talking. That's right. Mr. Counsel, I want to ask you a question. After all you've been through, and all the people you've talked to, do you forgive the officers who did that to you? Now, yeah. No, I, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say nothing. To, I didn't say no more to them. Do, do you forgive them now? Obviously, they're gone. But within yourself, do you find forgiveness? No, no, no. They, they, they were wrong. Yes. Yeah, they were wrong. No question. But how do you feel they, now? They, they, they were wrong. Or, or they, they did something I didn't know nothing about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they, were, they were wrong. Both of them. Chris and that moment. They were wrong. Oh, 
hanging, hanging a prayer for no, for no reason, for nothing. That's what they did. Call me for, for nothing. Do all of them go kill me. Yeah, that was, that was rough. But everyone was involved. And I'm gone. They're still here. Do you take. He was doing that ugly. Mm. That means he took over. He knew I didn't do it. He, he knew. He let, when, he, when, he, when he took over, I'm going to show you who the man. He the man. He thought I didn't do it. I'm still talking. Yes, you are. Sheriff, what do you got, Jeff? See, God don't let her. That's right. He don't let her. <laughs> so, here's what this office has for you today. We're very proud about it, very excited about it. This is a key to the Wake County Sheriff's Office. And it has your name inscribed on it. Okay. And on the back it has Wake County Sheriff's Office. Today we would like to present you with the key to this office and all the rights and benefits that come with it. Um, and we also have to go along with that this capsule. And engraved in the bottom of that capsule where we're going to put this key in it reads, Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial. Having stood the test, he will receive the crown of life the Lord has promised to those who love him. That is James verse, uh, chapter 1, verse 12. On behalf of this office, we want to say thank you. We're sorry. And whenever you get ready to come through here, you can come and sit in here and spend the day with me, help me make some decisions. <laughs> Got plenty of those to make. Uh, you are officially and permanently a part of this officer. And thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm going to wait until you get home thank before you, we put that key. Information. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank all of you. And I'll thank you. Thank all of you. Thank you. And uh, we're going to always be checking on you. And uh, yeah, all of you. Some nice, active people. Yes, thank you. Sheriff Baker? Yes. Um, nice. We don't want to take you this opportunity yeah. lightly yes. with your job. Yes. I, my name is Gretchen Newport yes, Gretchen. Carter Kenton. And I am, my roots are Apex. Okay. Back then when you said 1010, mm -hmm. it was called the Colors Road. That's right. Okay. But as a community advocate for the city of Raleigh for over 40 years, mm -hmm. and I'm a relative of the councils of Apex, uh, we really appreciate you. Not just um, Apex, Holly Spring, Raleigh, but all Wake County citizens. Thank you. That uh, you're the new sheriff in town. We <laughs> acknowledge you. We appreciate you for turning things around to try to right uh, unjust because we as especially blacks we have been the silent voice for many many years especially during that time so you have done a grand thing many times uh, rec recognition is given when the person is no longer here and it's to the family but Mr. Council he sits here mm -hmm. and he hear you mm -hmm. and he really truly appreciates you for doing that oh, that you can acknowledge and, and um, receive him this day. So thank you on behalf of all Wake County residents for thank doing you. this for him. For sure. Thank you so much. What do you want to do? You want to